Good morning. Today is the 17th day of February in this 2022nd year of our Lord. What a beautiful day we're going to have today. We're going to be temperatures in the high 60s, low 70s. Uh, a lot of people have been talking about heading down to the beach for just uh, grabbing a little bit of sunshine and warmth on this uh, beautiful day that we have uh, in the middle of winter. Um, we begin this day in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. From first, uh, the second epistle of Paul to Timothy in the first chapter. Do not be ashamed, then, of the testimony about our Lord or of me, his prisoner, but join with me in suffering for the gospel, re relying on the power of God, who saved us and called us <clears throat> with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace. This grace was given to us in Christ Jesus before the ages began, but it has now been revealed through the appearance of our Savior Jesus Christ, who abolished death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. For this gospel, I was appointed a herald and an apostle and a teacher, and for this reason I suffer as I do. But I am not ashamed, for I know the one in whom I have put my trust, and I am sure that he is able to guard until that day what I have entrusted to him. Hold to the standard of sound teaching that you have heard from me in the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. Guard the good treasure entrusted to you with the help of the Holy Spirit living in us. The word of the Lord. Hans Kung in the church. If the church really sees itself as the people of God, it is obvious that it can never be a static and supra-historical phenomenon which exists undisturbed by earthly space and historical time. The church is always and everywhere a living people, gathered together from the peoples of this world and journeying through the midst of time. The church is essentially en route on a journey, a pilgrimage, a church which pitches its tent without looking out constantly or new horizons, which does not continually strike camp, is being untrue to its calling. The historical nature of the church is revealed by the fact that it remains the pilgrim people of God. It renews and continues the history of the ancient people of the covenant and fulfills it in the new covenant. At the same time, it journeys through history, through a time of complex imperfection, towards the final perfection, the eschatological kingdom of God led by God himself. It is essentially an interim church, a church in transition, and therefore not a church of fear, but of expectation and hope, a church which is directed towards the consummation of the world of God, the world by God. And I'd like to share this from the prayers for the Christian by William Barclay, this prayer. <clears throat> o God, you are our refuge. When we are exhausted by life's efforts, when we are bewildered by life's problems, when we are wounded by life's sorrows, we come for refuge to you. O God, you are our strength. When our tasks are beyond our power, when our temptations are too strong for us, when duty calls for more than we have to give to it, we come for strength to you. O oh God, it is from you that all goodness comes. It is from you that our ideals come. It is from you that there comes to us the spur of high desire and the restraint of conscience. It is from you that there has come the strength to resist any temptation and to do any good thing. And now as we pray to you, help us to believe in your love 
so that we may be certain that you will hear our prayer. Help us to believe in your power so that we may be certain that you are able to do for us above all that we ask or think. Help us to believe in your wisdom so that we may be certain that you will answer, not as our ignorance asks, but as your perfect wisdom knows best. Lord Jesus, for this day and our life within it, we are most thankful, and we are blessed indeed. Grace us, O Lord, with your guiding presence, with the help and the hope of the Holy Spirit, to do those things which are worthy of thy will for us, and bless and care for each for whom we would commend to you this day in our thoughts and prayers. For Nikki and Tom and Lisa and JG and Miriam, for Bill, for Bill's daughter Claire, for Evelyn Rag and Evelyn Tompkins, for Hazel and for Inez, for Nancy and Roger, for Sam and for Becky and for Sarah, for each others that we would come into your care and keeping, for Miguel and for Alan Shane and for each that are precious in your sight that seek your healing care and love grant them the strength that is needful for the facing of this day and the looking toward the tomorrows that you would offer to us and grace us O Lord with all that is needful for the living of this day in the light of your son Jesus Jesus who has taught us to pray together our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. My friends, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you, to be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor, giving you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord this day and forevermore. Amen.